Hi, in this video I'll show you how to practice a dodging reverse turning kick. A dodging reverse turning kick is a reverse turning kick whilst flying away from the opponent. So let's start off by practicing a normal reverse turning kick. A lot of people struggle with this kick because they need to develop their hip mobility. So I'm going to show you a good exercise for this. Bring your hands to the wall and if you've got bars like this even better, point your balancing foot towards the wall and then raise the kicking leg and swing it across in a reverse turning kick action. Okay. The movement must be from the hip joint, so you flex and extend the hip and try not to move any other part of your body. So if your body starts swiveling like this, it means you're not isolating the movement on your hip joint. Your body must remain completely still, only the leg moves. And then after a while, accelerate the leg even faster, so you can develop the muscles. To practice a reverse turning kick, start off by pivoting on your front foot and bring the weight onto it so it becomes your balancing leg. Then move the hips slightly, so the hips bent here and it moves across a little bit. And then finally swing the leg across for the final part of the kick. This has to be done in the correct timing to get the proper kinetic chain. Pivot first, and balance, move the hips slightly and swing the leg across and this has to be done in quick succession and once you've practiced this a few times you're ready to practice on a target pad and when you do the reverse turning kick notice that your body moves in quite a bit as you start off the kick, which makes it easy for the opponent to close in. So they can easily block it or dodge. So you need to do a dodging reverse turning kick in order to deal with that. Now effectively that's a, a flying reverse turning kick moving away. So it's probably better to start off practicing a flying reverse turning kick, just as we did with the dodging back kick in video 2 of this series. So, do it on the spot, jump in the air and spin. So practice that as a drill on a target pad. If the opponent doesn't move in very much, then you're okay doing a reverse turning kick on the spot or a flying reverse turning kick. Another case is where they move in quite a bit with the front leg, maybe doing a turning kick, but they keep their head back. So the target's still far away. So doing it on the spot is fine. But if they bring their head forward and you do the kick on the spot, you're vulnerable. You can get closed in and caught out. So in this case, you need to do a dodging reverse turning kick. So you actually move away as they move in. So you can practice this on a target pad, gradually going back further and further. Now the further back you go, the less you need to jump because if you jump too high, it's just going to slow you down. So just stay low and switch the legs fast, like we did in video two with the dodging back kick. So practice that as a drill on a target pad. Be careful when using this technique in free sparring. If you're not careful, you can easily injure your opponent. One way to make it safer is to use the sole of the foot rather than the back heel. This way, if you make contact, it's more of a slap rather than a solid hit with the rigid tool of the back heel. And if you're doing competition, the sole of the foot means you get extra reach, which is an advantage. So always practice safely for yourself as well as your opponent and enjoy your practice. Goodbye.